I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you, I love you. These are the words behind the principle of Ho'oponopono. My name is Lisa, this is Reinventing Indulgence. I'm on a 30 day mission here of trying to reconnect with myself and with holistic health and, and wellness and just sharing with you 30 ideas for um, maybe food, food behaviors, um, mental well-being, and just different practices for emotional also and spiritual growth. So today I, I'm going to share with you something I really love. Um, I got this idea after reading Zero Limits and I have two, two books on Ho'oponopono and um, you know there's four phrases that they will reference. So I'm sorry, again, it's I'm sorry, forgive me, thank you, I love you. So I'm sorry is an acknowledgement of what I've created, whatever pain I've caused or errors I've made. Forgive me because I did not know I had that inside me. Thank you for allowing me to release and cleanse this memory. And I love you, my inner div divinity, my inner divinity meaning I love me. So the story behind this um, that I had learned was that there was this doctor, his name was Dr. Len, and he was working at a Hawaiian state hospital in, psych, in, in psycholo psychology or psych psych psychiatrics. And he had um, inmates that were there for criminal uh, background, and he had um, to work with them. So from what I understand of the story, he never really met with people. He just took their files and would go through everything and kind of try to heal in himself what he could connect to with with um, other people that he didn't even know so just to read a little bit more dr len um, explained that he had cleansed the memories that he had in common with each patient when he was studying each one's case file they asked how did you do it he answered that he had simply repeated i'm sorry forgive me thank you i love you and, and the staff was uh, in amazement, of course. And it became this famous story that, um, you know, people of met metaphysics and the law of attraction and a lot of these uh, guru types have uh, reflected back on because it's, again, healing from within without. So we all know that we can't change other people no matter how hard we try. And God knows we've tried or I've tried. Okay, fine. And, and I do it not even on purpose. I think it's more like on a, a sub, subconscious level. So now if I have, like if I'm turning over daily resentments or if I have friction with somebody or forget even that, maybe just somebody I know is in a lot of pain or perhaps, um, perhaps it's people I don't even know. You know that are that are in you know right now a lot of people uh, need love and healing and forgiveness and and oneness you know across across the globe. So in doing this, I also apply it when I don't really understand something as well. So I'll sit to myself and I'll repeat these statements. I happen to start with "I love you," but you could I uh, think either order is fine. I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you. And I go deep into myself and try to connect on, you know, when did I maybe do something similar in my life? And maybe it's time for me to heal that within me. Because again, we can't control other people, but the, what we can control is ourself. And we can control um, the things that that we have done and that we, we could reconnect to that and heal it in ourselves and love ourselves, love that part of ourselves. And in doing so, we heal that collective and we heal that energy, which is then collective. So that's just my take on it. Google all you want. It's a Ho'oponopono. And again, it's a Hawaiian principle that's used for forgiveness and in healing. And I just, I really love it. It's one of my favorite. It's actually one of my very favorite things that I like to do when I um, want to work on spiritual principles of myself and growth and healing. So that's it for today. Again, I love you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you.